When you say a multiple floods, well, the model was you had this gradual filling of the lake mm -hmm. over half a century to a century. And that was filled because you had this gradual encroachment of a lobe of the Cordilleran ice sheet called the Purcell Trench Lobe, mm -hmm. came south and were Lake Ponderay. If you guys look at maps, look there at the northern Idaho, you'll see Lake Ponderay. Lake Ponderay would have been right where the ice dam was proposed to be. You have this gradual encroachment of the ice dam. You have the gradual filling over 50 to 100 years of the lake. It gets, you know, 1,800, 2,000 feet deep, bursts through the ice dam, flows out over eastern Washington, and then the process repeats itself over and over again. Here's the thing. When you look at glaciers, there's a continuum of glaciers. One end, you've got a, a polar glacier, which is fast frozen to the ground ben beneath it. And it's very slow moving, I mean, inches a year because it's so cold and it's frozen to the ground. Then you've got tempered glaciers that are fast moving, but they ride on a, a base of water. There's melt water, like a sheet of melt water under them. Yeah. There's no way that you could have had a polar glacier there because how do you have a polar glacier and right next to it you have 600 cubic miles of water? I think we're on our way to really developing, evolving a new model of first earth history which was one thing to understand catastrophism, say, in the story of life on Earth. Yeah.